Happy New Year, family. Welcome to 2021. We did it. We did it. We made it through 2020. And today I'm going to talk about how you can win 2021. Even if this pandemic continues all year, even if the zombie apocalypse occurs and the economy crashes, this is the surefire way to make sure that you win this year. So first of all, how you're not going to win 2021 is by making a bunch of really big, impossible targets and goals and objectives for yourself that sound really good when you say them out loud that are really inspiring and motivational. But as soon as you get cracking, it's it's too much. You, you bit off more than you can chew. Now, I'm guilty of this myself. This is the plague of the new year resolutions, right? As we, we all get these really big desires and we don't have enough momentum, enough energy, enough motivation to keep that train purring. So if you guys go way back in the podcast library, I used to talk about something called the slow burn. And so this same concept applies to how you're going to win this year. Okay. So the first mistake most people make is make goals and objectives that are unrealistic. First thing you got to do is pick something that's realistic. Pick something that is an edge that is really challenging for you that you're going to have to work hard to make it happen, but that's actually achievable. And here's why, because if you start chipping away at this impossible target and you get 30 days into it and you say, damn, there's no way I'm going to make it to where I want to get by the end of the year. What are you going to do? You're going to do the same thing that you did every other year where you got a lot of motivation. You joined the gym, you started reading books, you you bought that website domain and you got some energy going for a week, two weeks, maybe a couple months. And then when things got tough, gave up, quit, decided that it wasn't worth it, couldn't do it anymore, retreated to some of your vices, maybe started feeling bad about yourself, started getting down. See, this is why I don't work out. See, this is why I haven't started my business, right? Reinforcing that doubter, that critic that lives inside of all of us. So don't do that. Nip that in the bud. Here we are. You're probably listening to this episode and it's the first week in January. We're already three days into the new year, but guess what? There's still time. And the remedy for this impossible dreaming is to pick an achievable target and then take measurable, consistent action every single day. Do it in bite-sized chunks. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew. Too many people sign up for that New Year's deal that they have at the gym, if your gym's even open right now, right? And you go ham at the gym. You just bust your ass for the first week. And after a few days of getting all that energy moving, you're sore. You can't even go, you can't even work out anymore. That's like the fast burn. That's burning yourself out way too quick. That's throwing a really hot, pitchy piece of pine on the fire and letting it burn out within the first few days, within the first few weeks. You got to throw a nice oaky log on there, right? Take that bite size. Maybe, maybe for the first week, if you haven't worked out in a long time, you just start going for walks, but every day you do something and you keep that long range mission in mind. This isn't about winning the day. This isn't about winning the week. This is about winning the whole year. So how do you need your, to conduct yourself in order to do that? Set those achievable targets. And the first one I want you to do is I want you to make an achievable target for just January. I want you to win January. I want you to know where you want to be for the rest of the year, where you want to end up by the end of this whole 365 days that we have coming up here. But then I want you to make a goal that is one twelfth into that journey. <laughs> I don't know what the percentage is, what, like eight point something percent into that journey. I want you to figure out what's that target. So if your goal is to lose 50 pounds by the end of the year, what's your goal for January? I'm going to lose that first three pounds and get some momentum going. I'm going to lose that first four pounds. It's achievable. It's going to take work. It's going to take consistency. But instead of thinking all the way down the long road, I'm just looking at the 200 feet in front of me. So pick that achievable goal and then take measurable, consistent action every single day. Win every day in the month of January. So when you can win every week in the month of January. So that four weeks from now, when you check in on yourself, you're like, hey, I lost five pounds this month. I'm killing it. This is great. Okay, now what's your objective for February? Keeping in mind that the long range objective all the way down the road there is 50 pounds this year. 
but February, you know what? I'm going to get over that 10 pound mark. I'm going to get over that 10 pound hump by the end of February so that I lost five in January. I'm going to at lose at least five more in February and just take that consistent action every day. Once in a while, check up with your long range vision, right? If you were hiking up a mountain, you wouldn't get to the top of the mountain by staring at the top of the mountain the whole time. At some point you would walk off the edge of a cliff or trip on a rock, but you check in with the top and then you look back down. You check in with the top and you look back down. And then at times you check in with the top and you look somewhere in between right down at your feet and, and where you're heading ultimately. And you have these different reference points, but ultimately the most important steps that matter are the ones that are right in front of you. So in order to win 2021, don't get sucked into the, the, the craze of people making these massive resolutions that 99% of them aren't going to keep up. This is the long race, right? This is the, the, the story of the tortoise and the hare, right? You're in this for the slow burn. We're not here to burn out after January is over, right? We're, we're going the long haul. So whatever that is, make those bite-sized digestible goals. And if you have multiple goals for this year, great. Even more important for you to break down measurable, digestible goals for the short term. Because the more you put on your plate, the more energy it's going to take, the more consistent you're going to have to be, the more committed you're going to have to be. And if you want to really give yourself some insurance that you're going to make your targets and your goals, create some accountability. Get a few of your buddies on board with this. Join one of our rising man fire circles and get on a team where other guys can say, hey, what are you up to this year? And they'll check in on you every single week. Whatever that looks like, all you have to do is make some commitments, put them down on paper and share it with people so that you've got some skin in the game. 2020 kicked a lot of asses. For me, it was one of my best years ever. And if you want 2021 to be a great year, no matter what, then take responsibility, take authority, take power back into your own hands, but set yourself up for success by making some measurable, achievable goals. And if you don't hit that monthly goal, don't let that deter you. So what, you lost four pounds instead of your goal of five. You still lost four pounds, you're four pounds lighter. Have you ever held four pounds in one hand? It's a lot of weight. And I know I keep using the weight metaphor, but whatever it is, as long as you're making progress towards where you want to be, celebrate that. Don't give up because you didn't hit your target. Bust ass, keep your nose down, check in on the long range, the intermediate range, and the short range regularly, and keep pushing forward. And I can't wait to see you guys at the end of the year. I know I'm not rushing it because we got a lot to do in 2021, but you process this formula, you put the steps in every single day, I guarantee you, Despite all the failures and the trip ups you might have along the way, you will be further ahead than you were when you started today. So let's go get busy, get out there, do it. And I can't wait to check in with you at the end of the year and see how much ass you kicked. <laughs> all right, fam, if you love what we're dropping here, love what we're laying down, make sure you subscribe here to the Rising Man YouTube channel and go check us out at risingman.org. Peace.